the ego would judge the darkness as difficulty, but pain purifies. In those hard times, right? The pain is an amazing purifier. And it's in those difficult times that we really get to know all we truly are. It's in those difficult times where we ask ourselves the big questions. And we ask ourselves, who am I? What are my most important values? We learn wisdom. We learn forgiveness. We learn how strong we are when we are on our knees. You have to pick your heart. Either life's going to be hard now or it's going to be hard for the rest of your life. And you have to pick what's more important to you right now. And, you know, if we talk about balance, if you want to have a balance of everything where you want to find a girl and you want to make money and you want to stay healthy, you are dividing your attention everywhere. I'm not saying it's impossible, but very few people can actually do everything all at once. And if your number one goal is to become wealthy, if your number one goal is to turn your finances around, you have to get serious about it. Because where you put your attention is where you get the results. And so if you want to be in a better financial situation, you are going to have to make sacrifices. And it's difficult. I can't come here and tell you it's going to be easy. Yeah. Because that's going to be me lying to you. We have to learn how to do things based on what we know is right. I know my schedule of going to the gym four times the week is right. So whether I feel like going or I don't feel like going is irrelevant. And that's from Satan. That's from the opponent that all of us have, the evil inclination. A truly successful individual, imagine a person who's building his business for the first couple of years. He doesn't feel like getting up all the time. He doesn't feel like working 20 hours a day. Sometimes he knows that's what he has to do to build his business. If you built a successful company, you know how difficult it was for the first couple of years. where well, you literally couldn't go on vacation. You couldn't spend the way you wanted to spend, but it didn't feel good. You said, who cares about my feelings? I have a vision. I know what's right. I know what I need to do. That's what it's about. Life is meant to be painful, mm. right? Like. Life is hard. It's yeah. supposed to be hard. Nobody gets out alive, and one of the things that you're guaranteed to go through is pain and adversity. It's part of it. It's supposed to be. There are no fucking victims. Yeah. And, and so when you look at it like that, it's like, oh, maybe I just signed up for this tour of duty. Mm. You know? Yeah. Doing exactly what I was supposed to be doing. You say, Dwayne, I, I feel so lost. Dude, welcome to human nature, man. Welcome to manhood. Who in the world wants to live a life where every single thing is laid out in front of them? You're supposed to feel lost. That's how you learn and that's how you grow. That's how you discover different roads and different paths and different ways of doing things. You say, Dwayne, I feel so alone. Who told you you were never supposed to feel alone? All right? Most of the time when people feel horribly alone, it's because they don't like themselves. That's who they're with all the time, and they don't like who they're with all the time. You can read all the books in the world. You can even be a doer all day long. But unless you continue to do, because I can make this one assurance, I can make you this promise. As Charlie Munger says, this world will throw tremendous blows at you. Tremendous hardships, the loss of a loved one, the betrayal of a friend, an economic recession. These are a given, my friend. This is what we call L-I-F-E, life on earth as we know it. If you can persevere and continue to be humble and continue to download the great thoughts of those who have gone before you and continue to run your experiments and do, then my friend, the world is yours and all that's in it. Good luck. I really don't think people comprehend and understand that what they think becomes a reality. Like that's universally true. Like if you wake up and think about success and think about making your life what you want it to be and hitting your goals and getting and wanting getting better and improving and, and all those things, if that's what happens in between your ears, one million percent that's what's going to happen in your life yeah if you wake up and you're like negative and and you know the crux that i think holds people back more than anything is complaining and gossip 
And so you wake up and you're complaining and then you're gossiping and then you go back and they, they titrate between the both. They're complaining about this and then they're gossiping about that guy. They're complaining about this and then gossiping about that person. And it's like, that's gonna become your life. The law of manifestation is real. I don't know if you know what it is, but the law of manifestation is whatever you're thinking of is gonna happen. If you think you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose. Listen, you can study all you want in here, but if you don't believe you're gonna make it, you're out. You have to sit here and say, I don't care what anyone else thinks about me, I'm gonna make it. Listen, you can't swerve, you can't be shaken, and you can't negotiate with this. This is not for sale. This thing that I just told you, I am going to be successful, you can never give up to anyone at any point in time, no matter what. You will work on this until your death. You can never not believe in yourself. Doubt is a traitor. It's a fucking traitor. And some of you in here, you hate traitors, you're a traitor to you. You're a traitor. You're an internal traitor. If you want to level up in life, you need to focus on reducing liabilities and increasing your odds of winning. Good habits, good relationships, positive mindset, positive affirmations, things that elevate your consciousness and your mindset. And treat yourself with kindness, grace, and respect because this is the first time that you're experiencing this game. Once you treat yourself that way and you understand that failure isn't a bad thing, failure is just an inevitable part of the process, you just continue attempting and attempting and attempting and through those attempts, you become a master of life. If there's any epidemic, it's a, it's a lack of imagination. You've got to engage your imagination in the biggest way possible. Whatever your goals are, you need to double and double again. Um, outrageous, ridiculous, completely unreasonable. It, 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 to the point that it feels inauthentic to even say it. Right? It's just like stupid. And then, reverse engineer, what would have to happen for that to occur? For that to become real right and then go to work start attracting the right people into your life and the right ideas and the right information in order to be able to turn it into reality you might not hit the whole thing but boy with the stretch are you going to hit more than you than you thought for sure take the first step the first step is always the hardest step because it forces you like a like a chick breaking out of an egg when it hatches the first step forces you to break out of your comfort zone and the comfort zone is so strong that probably 90% of people are held back from their full potential all their life because of this vice-like comfort zone. And when you take the first step, the only way you can do it is break out. And suddenly you see the second step and the third step and the fourth step. And then as you take the steps, your self-esteem goes up and your self-confidence goes up and you become more creative and you start to think of all kinds of ideas and people say, what has gotten into you? I mean, what are you smoking? Because whatever it is, you should share it with the others. Uh, and, and so this is the difference between top people, is yeah. they have a big idea of what's possible, and they take the first step. Yeah.